today I'm going to show you how I make these cute winged hearts out of shrink plastic. It is so easy and I really love how the layered shrink plastic looks and the color combination possibilities are endless. So let's get started. Today I'm going to be using chalk pastels to color my piece and you can use colored pencils, you can use markers and I have a whole video on how to color shrink plastic so I'll link that, you can check that out. And then I have these little pieces that I printed out, the hearts I printed out and I wanted them to be identical. So I have a smaller heart, a larger heart and then I have two wings that I just sketched out and then traced over so they'd be the same as well. I'm also going to create an outline with my chalk marker. Of course you're going to need some shrink plastic. I'm going to be using frosted shrink plastic because chalk pastels and they'll stick better to frosted shrink plastic and I have a glue stick. I'm just going to place the templates under the shrink plastic. If you're worried about them sliding around, go ahead and use some washi tape and stick them to the shrink plastic, but this should work fine. I'm going to use the chalk pastels that I got at my dollar store here in Japan. It comes with so many colors, I love it. And it's only a dollar! I have to decide what color I want to make these. I think I want the wings to be light blue. So I'm just going to go ahead and scribble over this. Actually along the outline. Then because I am out of makeup sponges, I'm just going to take this tissue and kind of wipe it, rub it in I guess, to the shrink plastic. And if you want a darker look, go ahead and use colored pencils. That will look great as well. For the hearts, I'm going to go with, hmm, I think a pink. And it has to be a color that's going to look nice when it's layered. I'm going to go with this teal color. Now, I've never tried layering these two colors before, so we'll see how it goes. I think I'll make the little heart teal. And big heart will be pink. Wasn't that easy? Now I'm going to take my chalk marker and outline the shapes. It did kind of slide around while I was coloring it, so you just kind of need to adjust it so it fits each one of the templates when you sketch it out. I'm going to repeat that for this one. I just got chalk marker all over my hand. Let's do that again. And if you have a rough outline, you can clean it up later. So I'm just going over it once. So now I'm going to cut these out and clean up the lines. Now I'm going to glue these pieces together. You don't have to do this step, but I find that the pieces fit together better after baking if you do this. Also, if you're making this into jewelry, now is the time to punch a hole in either the wings or maybe up at the top. And if you're happy with the way your piece looks, go ahead and bake it and then flatten it. And here's the piece back from being baked and it's super tiny and Looks like this now. It actually looks pretty nice from the back too. It got a little dented there because I baked it a little too long, but this is what it looks like. And I used to make these pieces a long time ago. You can see them on my Instagram, which you guys should follow by the way. I'll leave the link down below. But yes, this is a super easy piece. I would definitely suggest reinforcing it. It may look all attached, but this is just, you know, weak glue so this is going to come off right away. I like baking them together like I said because the pieces kind of fit together better because you know they melt together or shrink together. I don't know what the right term is but you can just bake them separately and then glue them together after. I usually use really strong um, like instant glue or um, UV resin. Now UV resin can come off too so I would suggest using a strong glue. 
But I definitely would suggest doming over the top with a resin or glaze and that will make it look super shiny. I usually like to mix a little bit of glitter in and yeah, so this was a super short but in my mind super cool tutorial. I think it looks really great and I want to work on making more 3D pieces and layered pieces because it just looks so cool. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought of this piece. I think the color combination and it all worked out really well. And if you use this technique to make any shrink plastic charms, I would love to see them. Please use the hashtag AtelierLorian on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and I will check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and I will have more shrink plastic related videos in the future. So if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe and hit that bell, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!